Hi guys, welcome to a new video. If you would like to hear my opinion about one of the new releases from Zara called Fashionably London, please stay tuned and I will unbox this perfume right now and I will go through the notes and I will also tell you my opinions. I already smelled it in a Zara shop today. I bought it a few hours ago together with Energetically New York. Those two were the ones that I liked very much and I would like now to present you London and also tell you why I chose to buy this one. So stay tuned and I will tell you all about it. The box looks very luxurious. It is a 20 euro perfume but I tell you it doesn't feel like a 20 euro perfume so 19.99 from Zara it has this very nice velvety carton it has this nice pattern on the carton here is the signature of Jo Malone this is a series created together with Jo Malone and there are city names from 1 to 8 I have here the fashionably London which is number 4 and there is also a review of uh, energetically New York number one. The rest I have smelled in the shop, but this video is not about the whole line, it's just about London. So now let's open it and spray it and go through the notes and tell you my opinions about it. There is another carton inside and it's sealed here. This is a very easy unboxing and I do appreciate that Zara is not putting all this plastic foil on top so it's unnecessary plastic in the nature. It's just this carton with a bit of a sticker here so well done I like this idea. So that's it unboxing done. So the box will open like this and here is the perfume inside. It has this London Bridge and this is basically a postcard and the perfume is here inside with this mirror finish just like the other one and if you look it's like a book this is so nice you can put it in your bookshelf and it will look like a book from Zara and Jo Malone the bottle like I said also for the New York looks like a Chanel so the perceived quality is just outrageously good it looks heavy it's a thick glass and it it has a nuance it's not really transparent and if you know the Chanel they have this line with Venice, with uh, Paris Biarritz, with uh, Edinburgh. Those bottles from Chanel they look like this one. Let's go through the notes. Like even without spraying you can feel this high quality rose. So you will have this strong citrusy start from the bergamot. So it has as a note bergamot, rose and musk. Three really nice notes. So in the top you have the bergamot, in the heart you'll have this high quality rose and in the base you'll have the musk. So this is unisex. This is both for ladies and men. It has been released this year together with the other seven. So there are eight in total. Guys, I can tell you that this smells, at least for me, like an improved portrait of a lady. The rose is not this cheap supermarket perfume that is like a 15 euro and it smells like this stinky rose. It's like some high quality rose. I would even go so far and say that it smells like organic rose even if at this price for sure it's not and it's not very colored but who knows, maybe they used a small amount of real organic rose in here because it smells wonderful. And the mask is so nice and it's so sweet and so fluffy, like you can feel it already in the complexity of the perfume. And the bergamot is not very powerful, it's not very citrusy like the proper, you'll, you'll have these citrus perfumes like with Neroli, with bergamot, with lemon that is just popping. This one is so well blended, you barely can feel it. And the rose, oh my god, the rose is wonderful. When I smelled this rose first time, so a few hours ago, it reminded me very much from Sable Rose from Louis Vuitton. So this um, not very sweet, not very powerful rose, but like of high quality. And to be honest, the reason why I bought this very nice rose perfume from Zara is because I needed kind of a layering perfume for my collection so whenever I want to have a nice perfume that has a rose note into it I will spray this one and maybe layer it with some nice wood like wood is pahan or I will layer it with a nice 
frankincense perfume like royal incense from Oman Luxury so it's like you can be creative with perfumery and Zara gives me here a very beautiful rose note which I can layer with other perfumes from my collection. I think this smells nicer than even Lyric Man from Amouage or like Portrait of a Lady. Those perfumes for me they have two powerful rose and Portrait of a Lady honestly speaking for me it seems like a perfume for an older lady. Sorry if uh, I'm saying this and you are not an older lady yet and you like Portrait of a Lady but this is how it smells for me and my girlfriend also tried a sample and we were like what's this smell and on her skin doesn't smell good at all and I don't really like it but this one I tried it on paper I tried it on testers not on skin yet and it has such a beautiful rose note this new line from Zara I am very sure that it will sell out very quick everywhere in the shops or like online funny thing in Dusseldorf shop where I've been to buy my bottles they were already dusty so the carton was already dusty on top so I don't know since how much time they stay in there because I only found out about them a few days ago on Parfumo.net and before that I didn't even know that they exist so um, if you go on the Zara Germany website you don't even find them you will find them on Zara Spain so like I don't know they are very new they are very special I can tell you that so Zara with this line really created a special line and um, I really would be very upset if they discontinue this because it's of very high quality the bottles look fantastic the perfume inside is also nice and look this one also has a slight note so it's not properly transparent like many of so-called rose perfumes on the market so I would say that this is a great collaboration between Zara and Jo Malone I'm really happy that I got this fashionably London and energetically New York there was another one which was great called Tokyo that one was very nice very floral very feminine and if I would buy another one from the line would be Tokyo I also tried Dubai which was very interesting based on the notes and I can tell you that it was very linear it was not interesting at all even if it should be an oriental having the name Dubai no I don't think Dubai smell like this and I am really sure that Dubai deserves a better perfume than this one launched from Zara now with notes like nutmeg saffron and leather it's very shy and for me it wasn't even considered to be purchased so London New York and Tokyo these are my three favorites from the new line from Zara please comment down below what do you expect from this new line from Zara and if you like Zara perfumes I hope to see you soon on the channel again stay healthy thank you for watching Bye-bye.